In this tutorial, we will learn how to create boundary boss base and what is the difference between lofted boss base and boundary boss base. Right now, boundary boss base is not active because there is no object to create boundary boss base. At first, we will need to create some sketches so that it will get active. I will make this top plane on. Click on this show. Then I will create two more planes parallel to this top plane. Click on reference geometry, plane, and select this top plane. I will give a gap of 50, enter, and I want quantity to be 2, enter. Okay. On this plane, I will create some sketches. I will select this top plane, click on sketch. I will create one rectangle from center. Click on center rectangle, give the center point, give the other point, orbit it, click outside, then select this plane and click on sketch, then click on this sketch too and make it normal too. Create one more rectangle from center. Okay. Orbit it, click outside, select this plane to click on sketch, click on sketch 3, normal to create one more rectangle. Okay, now here we have created three sketches. Now we don't need to see this plane, we will hide them. Click on the plane and click on hide. Now here boundary boss base is active. Then we will create one guide curve also. For that click on sketch. Click here and select 3D sketch. Click on spline. Give the first point. Second point and third point. And press escape. Then click on the spline and adjust the tangent curve so that a shape will be changed ok I want it like this click on ok then I will use this data to create a boundary also and to create loft also therefore I will need the copy of this data I will save it suppose I will give it loft save then I will need one more copy for boundary I will save as it, save as, I will give boundary, save. Then to create boundary boss base, click on boundary boss base. Then here we will have to define curves in direction 1. In direction 1 I will define this profile, click on this first profile, second profile and third profile. Now these green dots needs to be in one line. As I click these two profile on this side and this third profile on this side, therefore this green dot shifted on this point. Normally you have to click profile on the same side so that these green dots will come on the same side. To change the side of this green dot, press it and hold it and drag the point. Now here twisting is there. Again I have to bring this green dot at this point, press and hold and drag the point to this point. Now it is correctly created and we will click on OK. It is created with boundary boss base. We will open the one with loft name to create the loft. To create loft click on lofted boss base. Now in boundary boss base, here was written as direction 1, now here it is written as profile. We will select the profile on the same side and click on OK. Now if we watch the both results, suppose we will click on window, tile vertically, 
so that we can watch both the results we'll set it to isometric view and this one also to the isometric now if we see both the results we can say that the both the results are same there is no difference that means if you use the boundary with direction 1 and if you use the loft with profiles the results are same then there is a difference in the user interface actually if i activate this boundary one now here you can see that here is direction one is there then direction two is there and that's all only you have to define these two data and now if we check for the loft click here and edit loft now in the case of loft there is profile that means here is direction one and on this side it is profile here is direction two and on this side it is a guide curve so both are same but if we go below here is one more parameter is there in the loft that is center line parameter now the center line parameter is not available in boundary boss base that means if you want to create some object using center line path then you cannot use boundary boss base you will have to use loft only so that is a user interface difference then suppose we will apply this guide click on this guide curve and select this guide and click on ok so this is the result with loft and guide applied we will again convert it into isometric view and we will apply guide in this boundary also click on this edit just pan it now in the case of boundary actually profiles are defined in direction 1 and guides are defined in direction 2 so we will select this guide as a direction 2 and click on ok and we will also set here the isometric view now if we see here there is a difference when we apply the direction 2 the shape generated here is different than the shape generated in the loft now why this difference basically in the case of loft profiles are the dominating part when creating the object but in the case of boundary profiles plus guide curve is the dominating part that means guide curve also play its role in creating the object whereas in loft only profiles are majorly considered for creating the object therefore this different happens therefore you will see that here here the shape is generated differently so if you want such a creative shape then you must go for this boundary boss base then one more difference is there if we will edit this loft now in the case of loft if we click on the start and end constraint you can define constraint for start and end only if we select here normal to profile so it become normal here then for the end constraint also we will select normal to profile that means you can define the end constraint at two ends only for middle section there is no constraint applicable but in the case of boundary constraint is applicable in the center also if we edit this boundary one and if we see here you can see that we can apply constraint for the center profile for the bottom profile and for the top profile that means here I can define normal to profile ok now what happens in this case actually once we applied the guide curve then it becomes difficult for boundary boss base to apply this normal to profile constraint that also we can say that one difference is there what we will do we will just remove this case 3 and now you can see that now we will apply here we already applied the normal to profile then here also for second profile we can apply normal to profile and for third profile also we can apply normal to profile so in this way for three sketches you can define the constraint whereas in the case of loft we can define constraint for only end sketches that is start and end sketch 
and suppose we will make it ok and we will remove guide curve from this loft also we will just edit it and we will remove this 3d sketch ok done and here you can see that there is difference in shape when we apply normal to profile suppose here also we will set isometric view so that you can view the difference and we will zoom fit it now here as the normal to profile is not applied to the central sketch here the shape is different shape is different so here also you can find that there is a difference we will maximize this Then from here you can increase the normal values for individual sketch. Suppose I want to make it 2. For sketch 2 I want to make it 0 0.5. And for sketch 3 I want to make it 2. So as for that you can change the control the shape of the curvature that is created after connecting all the profiles. We can also give the rotation angle here and click on OK. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.